Hi guys, welcome to SQL Server Reporting Services Tutorial Series. In this video, I am going to show you how to pass or how to um, uh, send or pass uh, multiple parameters or multiple values from a drop down list. All this time, you were um, you were seeing I was selecting only one item uh, from the drop down and I was displaying the reports. But in this time, I will select uh, two items or more than one uh, item from the drop down and I will display the uh, products of those uh, multiple product items okay so let us create that report so let's first click on right click on reports add new item click report multiple products report now uh, add okay now create a data source share data source multiple drop down okay now I don't want immediate connection I want a shared data source connection which I have made at the very beginning uh, of this tutorial series and uh, from uh, from there itself I am using the same shared data source connection for all my reports because it's uh, it's very advantageous to use uh, the same data source connection only say, uh, say uh, to, um, to use only one connection across multiple reports now click OK let's create a data set drop down select an embedded one and uh, select the shared data source connection and click on query builder and select the tables customers order details orders and products and add those tables now select the appropriate column names okay now uh, as you have seen in my last um, parameter reports I had added uh, one filter into all my reports but this report is slightly different from my previous reports because here uh, I'll be selecting multiple uh, drop-down items in a drop-down so in this um, I, I'll not be using um, traditional way where I have um, which I had used in my previous tutorials in this video um, I will be using in operator to uh, uh, select multiple uh, products uh, description okay. so click on ok click again ok right click here and insert a table okay. and drag these fields product name company name quantity and unit price okay, let's increase the size and then product name and let's give a background to our header let's give this color and make it as bold and white as a color see as I said in my last videos also that whenever uh, you want to create a drop down in your reports you should maintain a different data set apart from this data set you should uh, you cannot use this data set that is the main data set for you for to display uh, product names in your drop down so we need to create an, another data set for our drop down drop down and select the shared data source connection query builder and select the product as a table add close set product id and product name ok now click ok click ok now you can see I have a different data set prepared for my drop down okay. uh, right now I don't have any parameter so first I need to create a parameter please select the or 
choose the products okay now I'll be passing integer value to my backend and here you need to allow multiple values you need to check this allow multiple values option and here in available values click on this get values from query select the data set which I have created just few or uh, just one minute back select uh, DS drop down and uh, here value I am passing as an integer value and select the label as product name okay here let's one second choose yeah, here integer is selected now click ok now if you come here to see your report you can see this drop down is very much different from the uh, drop down which we were seeing from the last few tutorials see if I select any of the two product names from my drop down and try to view the products see these products are not those which I have selected in my drop down okay that means something I have made a mistake somewhere I have made a mistake so just okay uh, come on design view and select here this and uh, select this entire column and go to tablix and go to okay go, uh, first you need to select this column and right click on this column and go to tablix properties here you need to go to filters you need to add a filter and you need to filter uh, here you need to select the field on which you want to filter the record I want to okay I don't have any product ID here okay we just before doing this I need to create a product I need to select a product ID here okay not this one right click on this data set go to query and see where is the product okay, we need to select the product ID click ok and now let's right click on this column go to tablix properties go to filters add a filter and select the um, uh, column name or field name on which you want to filter the records filter here you need to use an in operator value should be the parameter okay select the parameter which we have created okay. now click ok ok now if you come uh, again to see your report S select any two of the products and if you click enter you will see these are the products uh, these are the same products which I have selected in my drop down okay guys if I select any different products you will see the different products will be displayed here okay this is how you can create um, a drop down with multiple uh, selection uh, options okay I hope you understand the concept behind it and I, I hope you like this video if you uh, like this video subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching